Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use my 18-month uh, mini calendar from Erin Condren. I got this when I ordered my on-the-go notebook, which I do believe now that they are not offering a free 18-month um, calendar with the on-the-go notebook. Now they're offering this free calendar when you order the new 8.5 by 11 spiral notebook. So just an FYI on that, if you and you can't purchase this, it's just a freebie for now. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be offering it um, sometime in the future, maybe after they finish their promotion with the 85 by 11 spiral notebooks. This The promotion for this one went on for a while, so I assume it's going to go on for a while with the um, 85 by 11 spiral notebook. Um, some of the Erin Condren fan pages on Facebook, a lot of people on there um, actually sell this when they get one because they don't want it or need it or anything like that. So if you're looking for one and you don't want to get the 8.5 by 11 spiral notebook, then check out some of those fan pages and maybe you can get uh, buy one from somebody on there. Um, so like I said, I got it when I purchased my on-the-go notebook, which I am going to be doing another video showing you guys how I use my notebook. I just ordered another notebook, so I'll show you how I'm going to kind of use both of them together. Um, I ha also have an address book that's going to come tomorrow. We're going to do a haunted tour in one of our cities around here, so I won't be able to film that unboxing tomorrow, but I am going to film it on Saturday, so I'll have that up for you guys uh, probably Saturday night, Sunday morning. And um, I'm super excited to get that. I can't wait to fill it out because I have like an old, you know, like granny looking um, address book right, that I use right now. So I'm excited to do this switch over. Um, FYI, if you guys are new to Erin Condren or you haven't purchased anything from her yet, there is a referral code in the link below. If you click on that code, it will give you a $10 off coupon when you sign up for her newsletters. And you want to sign up for those because she sends out... Um, her specials or coupons, etc. Like right now, she's having a sale on her um, her Halloween products. I think are like 25% off, and then she just started a sale today on her um, Christmas holiday like cards, acrylics, etc. So make sure that you click that link and sign up so you can get your $10 off coupon. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I use this 18 month mini what I call mini calendar. Now I know a lot of girls use this as an on-the-go calendar, which is this called an on-the-go calendar? It might be. I'm not sure. Um, but because the life planner is this size, and you can see the size difference here, um, some girls don't like to carry this one around with them uh, because it is slightly heavier, bigger, etc. They like to leave this one at home for you know their household everyday stuff and carry this around as their actual like. Um, planner in their purse or diaper bag or whatever. I have chosen to use this in another way because I do carry my planner with me. I don't usually take my planner with me if I'm just going uh, grocery shopping or shopping at the mall or something like that, but I do take it with me to work every single day. I'm also taking this with me to work every single day and you'll see why when I show you how to use it. So I'm going to um, fix the camera angle and I'm going to take you through and show you through this calendar and um, talk to you a little bit about how I use it. Okay, so as you can see, the front just says 2014-2015. The calendar does go, or at least the one that I got, goes from July 2014 all the way through to December 2015. So when you open it up, as with most of the Erin Condren products, you have a nice little quote page. And then you have a cover page for every month. And it also includes the uh, entire month at a glance down here in the corner. Then when you turn the page, you have that entire month on the, on the whole page. And then you have a little note section here on the side. And then also there's a quote at the top, as per usual, with an Erin Condren product. And then when you turn the page over again, you have a notes page. So that's how the entire calendar is set up. You have your um, cover page for your month, a small uh, month at a view glance, and then you have your entire month, notes pages, uh, excuse me, a notes section, and then an entire notes page. And that goes right the way through um, to... December and each month uh, cover sheet is a little bit different. They're all super cute 
And then when you finally get to the end, you have your last notes page, and then you have another quote, and then the regular uh, Erin Condren Enjoy um, label back here. So now I'm gonna show you guys, let me try to zoom in a little bit here. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use this calendar. I have chosen to use this as a fitness slash food tracker. I am trying to eat a little bit healthier, trying to move my body a little bit more, um, not by any means trying to be perfect or anything like that, but I wanted to use this to be able to track my food and exercise just so I can kind of see where I am in that whole process and what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, etc. like every week. Um, so of course I didn't use July, didn't use August, didn't use September for the months just because um, I did not have this planner until the middle of September and it took me a while to decide what I wanted to use it for. However, I am using the notes pages. So for instance here, I am using it to write down um, like tips and hints and suggestions that I have read. Now I've been reading the body book by Cameron Diaz and I talked about that in my um, favorites and fails video that I just posted a few days ago. So check that out. Um, and this is where I'm getting most of that information. The book is awesome. Uh, like I said, check out the video and I talk more about it. So I've been writing all the stuff that I have read in her book that I want to remember right here on this notes page. And then on the next notes page, this is a page for food ideas. And these are just ideas that she talks about throughout the book that I thought sounded like they would taste good. So I've been writing them in here. What I really need ideas for are lunch times. I do work, so I have to pack my lunch every day. Um, and so this is kind of food ideas for that. And then the next page, I have written a list of carbs. Now when she has a list in her book, I am only writing down the things that I would actually eat. There are things on there that I don't like or haven't tried or don't think I would eat, so I don't write those down. So here's my list of carbs. And then I have my omega-3 fatty acids, and then I have a list of some foods that are high in vitamins and minerals. Then I have a list of foods that um, have added sugar in them. So these are things that I want to either avoid eating or eat very sparingly. And then this page is a breakdown of um, different foods that have protein in them. And then I also list how much protein is in each um, item. She talks in her book about how much protein you should eat in a day. So I wanted to write down this tracker so I know how much protein I'm getting. And then that's the only notes that I've had. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going through her book and writing down notes on all these pages. So I'll take you back to the month that we're on. Okay, so over here in the notes section, I've just kind of put down some encouragement on the side, eat more fruits and veggies, move your body, drink water, um, that sort of thing. I have not decorated this calendar. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to because I am taking up quite a bit of the space with my um, tracking. So maybe I'll do some decorating over here where I'm not gonna be writing like that. So let me just zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, if you can look here for yesterday, these little dots are how I'm tracking water. Now this dot is actually for a bottle of water. So one dot equals two cups and they say you should have about eight cups a day. So as you can see here, I had my um, food for the day. And then underneath that, I'm just writing down what I ate for the day and then I'm writing down any exercise or movement that I do. Yesterday I was unable to go to the gym or do an exercise video, so I just did some stretching. And then today I haven't finished filling this out since I got home from work. So I've got to put my dinner in there and then whatever exercise I decide to um, do tonight. So I'm basically going to use it to just track my water intake, my food, and my exercise for um, each day. Now I'm not sure if I will continue to track my food every day. I'm gonna try it out for this month or maybe a couple of weeks and see how it goes. 
I'm not sure if writing down what I'm eating is really going to affect my um, exercise or fitness routine at all, but I'm going to try it for a little while and see how it goes. And as you can see, I don't have much room left, so I actually do go to the, if I do go to the gym, I'm not going to have a lot of room to write in, you know, like 30 minutes on the treadmill or, you know, lifted weights or did the 30 minute workout or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this or not. But that is how how I have decided to use my uh, mini 18-month calendar. I really like this calendar. And um, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep using it for that the whole time because it is for, you know, over a year. But I will certainly do an update um, probably at the beginning of the year and show you guys if I'm still using it the same way or let you know any differences in the way I'm using it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if this gave you an idea and leave a comment down below and let me know how you use your mini calendar. I'd really love to um, know how everybody else uses theirs. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.